Hey there e-bike fans. I want to tell you about my mobile test project. This is an old frame of mine that I'm using to test components that will be going on to a current project, the Electrum 1. Um, and I, what I wanted to do is I wanted to see if the speeds and the torque and the power limits that I was expecting to get out of my Golden Motors Magic Pie 20-inch uh, wheel uh, were accurate. So let me tell you about the Golden Magic Pie. This is the Magic Pie 2. It's a pretty cool wheel. What I like about the 20 inch wheel is it's actually the same uh, rim diameter as 16 inch motorcycle. So that's a 406 millimeter rim seat. And what that means uh, is that you can use motorcycle tires. In this case, I'm using a very high quality German Heidenau uh, moped tire as my wheel. The outer diameter of this wheel uh, built up with the tire on is uh, almost 22 inches, which is a nice fat size. I've got lots of rubber there for shock absorption. And what I also like about the Hydenow tire is it's uh, DOT rated to 90 kilometers per hour. It's a very high quality tire, bias ply, radial, whatever it is. And it's way cheaper than high quality 20 inch BMX tires, as well as way stronger. Uh, the Golden Magic Pi 2 is, a, is a, an external controller, and so for a controller, I'm using the Grin Technologies Phase Runner. Any of you uh, who don't know about the Phase Runner, you should definitely check it out. It is by far the smallest and most powerful, powerful controller for form factor. It is a sine wave controller. It has all the bells and whistles. It's internally programmable. Uh, as well, I'm running the Grin Cycle Analyst V3, more of a readout than anything, but it does have some ability to control the controller. Um, and I'll tell you a little bit about this frame. This frame is the Trimble X140, which uh, was a very high-end carbon fiber mountain bike frame produced in the early 90s. I got three or four of them, and they all broke, so we uh, just basically put them on the shelf and never rode them. And then a number of years ago, it was kind of a joke, I built this frame up uh, with all of the ultra lightweight mountain bike parts that I'd used over the years that I didn't think were strong enough to actually be used. So for example, right here we have the Coda Magic Cranks, which were originally Magic Motorcycle. They're very cool. They're one of the very first, in fact, I think they are the first external uh, bottom bracket cup uh, aluminum cranks. They were produced also in the 90s. They also all broke. So didn't uh, didn't make it and here we have a nuke proof tie hub with tie spokes and and a car tie and carbon hub and then of course the Trimble X160 frame carbon uh, frame weight 2.4 pounds way too light to actually use as a day-to-day e-bike -day e um, and then for battery I'm running a uh, 72 volt 20 amp hour uh, their Panasonic PF cells and straightforward connectors. So let's take it out and see how fast she goes. Okay, well, just getting it down out of the stand is a bit of a chore because it's oh, so heavy. I think the back wheel is about 10 pounds and the battery is about 20 pounds. So basically the electrical components weigh about twice as much as the bike. She knows just what I like, the angel on my bike. Okay, well that was absolutely terrifying. Top speed of 77 kilometers per hour, uh, maximum wattage draw of 2800 watts, which I know isn't huge for some e-bikes, but on a lightweight uh, frame like this, I would have to say, don't try this at home, kids.